What's going on people? This is Jagos and I know it's been a while and I can't do anything about that. I have been extremely busy with a lot of different things and one of the biggest things that I've been doing is trying to create a very massive video that is still only 40% complete. Um, if anybody wants to look at one of the videos that I did in March, I believe, of last year, they'll see exactly what I'm going to be talking about. And it was something that really has to be said. Um, for the most part, what I've been up to has just been busy with school, I've been busy with work, I've been busy with everything, so I haven't been updating videos quite like I have, should have. Um, I've been sitting here discussing, talking on different forums, and just, you know, basically talking about Gamergate in a general sense, so that way people can sit here and understand what's going on. I'm not really going to be talking about Gamergate, except basically, if anybody ever wants to sit here and talk about Gamergate, use an analogy. And the analogy that I usually use is that Gamergate is about a scam, right? So we talk about, I talk about it like this is a community that has an infection. And with that infection of what is going on, the people that are pro-gamer are the ones that are acting like antibodies against the SJW infection. Now, the SJWs, for the most part, the social justice fascists or whoever you want to call them, the fact of the matter is they are usually anti-gamers. They sit here, they do not enjoy the games. They don't partake in the games. And that's usually shown by the literally who's as well as other people. So the fact of the matter is, these people come into a community to try to sit here and dictate how that community should be interpreted. This is something that none, nobody really wants to let stand. So. I'm going to keep it at that. I usually use that body analogy, that infection analogy, to sit here and have other people understand exactly what I, how I see Gamergate in its entirety. Now, some other things that have come up are basically the fact that I want to sit here and continue to give you all economic news in some way, shape, or form, but I can do it in one of two different ways. Now, I've been greatly inspired by Main Event to sit here and do possibly a one hour video on, my, on a certain day to sit here and go over everything that has been going on. Or, I can do annual reports such as for Nintendo, Squaresoft, Capcom because the fact of the matter is, there is a new Capcom report for 2014. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. But there are some new things that I could do in that report that sits here and makes it look a lot better and a lot different. The other fact is there hasn't been many people that have been going over um, Nintendo or any other type of annual report. So that's something that I want to do. Um, unfortunately, since I have to do it by myself, I don't quite have the time to sit here and do other videos or anything of that nature. So I want to put it to you all, what would you all want me to do in terms of economic news? How would you all want to do updates or anything like that? If you all have any suggestions, feel free to comment and usually I leave this open. Um, if you want me to sit here and start doing a blog type thing, I can usually do that as well. And for the most part, I still have all of these channels um, built up, and I haven't really sat here and started pushing them like I sh probably should. Nah, I, for the most part, if you all like the content, you all are going to share it. I don't really care one way or the other. I don't have ads on these videos. This is just my play channel. This is what I do for fun. I like enjoy I enjoy the investigative work I love doing this type of stuff and I love sitting here and having something that I can share and produce 
without having a huge like burden of am I gonna get paid for this because to me when I start doing something like that I'd probably do it a lot differently so it is what it is I'm probably not gonna have this channel monetized anytime soon and I don't plan to I just plan to sit here and do it you know just for shits and giggles because why not nobody's doing any type of economic news like this and for me it shows that there are some things that pe other people will miss if you want to sit here and see um, new sites or new things that's what I'm usually about and I do divest or diverge into other topics such as feminism trying to help you be a better person because to me after sitting here and seeing feminism for what it is I mean I've just recently learned about feminism two three years ago I'm just not a feminist I pr don't plan to be if you are great but I just don't plan to be a feminist anytime soon the fact of the matter is it's very individualistic it goes against the types of things that I argue for and against and quite frankly there's really nothing to it if it's this shallow vapid witch hunt against people that they say is the wrong identity and I just don't have time for this politic identity politics nonsense now Jordan Nolan has some really good videos bad cop is around and I believe he's doing similar things for me I'm probably not gonna focus as much on feminism as before I'm gonna try to give you all better gaming news and better gaming reviews stuff like that um, I'm still gonna be playing a lot of Warframe that's probably where half of my time has went the other half is school work and doing all of these other things nothing that you all really need to know a lot about except you know that's what keeps me busy that's what keeps me going so for the most part if you all have any suggestions feel free to keep them in a uh, put them in the underbar and I'll see you all next time